Hello everyone, FunchNX here. Welcome back to Regrowth Amplified, playing the Regrowth pack on the Feed the Beast launcher created by Phoenix version 074. And uh, I'm just hanging on out on top of my water tank, doing nothing. Actually, I've been pretty busy. Um, figured out brewing, as you can see by the wall of many brews. <laughs> Check them all out. Wow, tons of brews. I figured it out. I'm going to give you guys a hint. Um, disregard this little box that is from the Ring of Loki acting up. Maybe it's not. I don't know what it's from. Oh well. <laughs> Went straight out the same thing, but hey, now it's gone. Nope, it's back. It's back. Whenever I get close, disregard it. First things first, we're going to go in here and come upstairs. I've added a few more nodes to this guy, so he's getting pretty big. What are you at now? Let me fly. I want to get all of them to 36. Um, if you don't know, this thing works on a system of square roots when you um, transduce it. I think it's called transduce. <laughs> I've always called it energize in the past, and I think that's wrong. But anyway, um, so if you want to get like a centivese value of 5, you need everything at least to be 25. If you want to go to 6, then you need 36, 7, 49. So it's kind of more harder and harder to get the harder values. So... I'm pretty close to 25 on each. I might try for 36 to get 6 on each. Um, it's really going to help with the next process the higher that I have it. So we'll see how high, high I can get before the series is drawing to a close. This guy's dead. It's not even nighttime wolves. My goodness. Okay, so the first thing is I want to craft a few things. This is the focus manipulator focal manipulator and this is what allows us to basically enchant our focus foci um in the previous episode a while back i tried to enchant a focus found out you couldn't do that anymore but you can with this little guy focal manipulator and i'm gonna put him yeah right in here this will be good because he needs centipedes to run so i want him close by so let's put him right here now what you'll do is you'll put your focus in here. So let's get this uh, get this guy off. Get our equal trade focus. And now you can see we've got two options. We can enlarge, which means it does a larger area, or frugal, which means it costs less. Well, I think it would be cool to do an enlargement. So you put that there, and it says, well, I need two air, two ordo, and two terra. Okay, and eight experience. So I can start that going. It took my experience, and now it's waiting for the V. The v. Okay. And, hello. <laughs> now I can do a couple different ways. I can pipe it in, I believe, from something like this. You know, I could run these pipes over to it and uh, do that. Or I can use the Cenovi, um, which is what I plan to do once that node is big enough. Oh my gosh, I hate these wolves. So bad. With a passion. Where are you? Especially when they hide under the base so they're hard to find in all the trees. I dare you to howl again so I can find out where you are. I dare you. You in my base? They always spawn in my base. Nope, nothing in here. Nope, are you right up there? I see ya. Nope, that's a flower. <laughs> they're so loud. Well, I'm not seeing him. Okay. I guess he decided to run away. He was scared of me. Let's go back in, and I'm sure he'll decide to show his face again as soon as I get back in. There you are. Told you to dare you to howl again. He howled. I killed him. Okay. So that's, that's how we're going to uh, enchant these. Um... I also want to get a fire one, so let's get the stuff for the, the fire foci, focus. And that's fire shards in the corners, you in there, and a fire charge in the middle. There we go. And we want to upgrade this one with as much damage as possible. I don't care about the area effect or the length, I just want damage, damage, damage. So every time you add one, so as soon as we get this one, it's going to give us new choices. And we can enchant it up to five times. Every time it's going to get harder and harder to do. 
So, yeah. But, you know, there's some cool effects that come later on. This one, we're just going to go damage, 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 damage. <laughs> Make it do a ton of damage. Okay. Um, so I'll get that done when I can. Once this node grows to at least 25, hopefully 26. Okay, that's the Thomcraft I want to show. Next thing I want to do is I want to go over to our island, which I think I put on X. Yeah, Pisces. What I've done here is I've lit up the area, and I've also created a little nice little box. And this is where I'm going to contain Leonard, so he can't get out and he can't escape. And we're going to kill him in here. So I have to get him over here. Um, to summon Leonard, it's actually a, a brew, that, just like we, what we've been doing level 12 so let's go over and see the simple brews first and then we'll go actually summon leonard and bring him over here i've already got my witch's hand set to right in the middle there so i can pick leonard up and bring him over here um, so let's head on back to cancer okay and actually i should have gone over the witchery area but i don't remember which one it was so here we are, over in the thing. Let's put our robes on, because we know the robes supposedly give us a second brew, but I don't think they do. I think that's only in um, kettle recipes, and we're doing cauldron recipes. So I don't think they're going to help. Also, a frog familiar will also give you an extra chance to get uh, an extra brew, but I also think that only <laughs> works with with uh, kettle recipes, not cauldrons, because I don't seem I didn't seem to get any bonus from these things. So let's get out our brew book, and we kind of went over this before, um, and I, but I want to go over it really quick again. What you're going to want to do is first go into your effects. Well, actually, first you're going to get a seer stone. <laughs> and my seer stone is in the yellow bag. Okay, put these guys in here for now. And when you shift right click on a seer stone, you will see bottling skill, and you'll start with zero. Now you want to level that up. You'll see mine is now 64. Every time you go each each 30 levels, so level 30, level 60, you're going to get a message that says your bottling skills improved. You have a better chance at getting brews. Um, up until level 30, I know that I was able to do brews that were up until level 4, and they give me a point. So to level up to level 30, you want to do level 2 and level 4 brews until you get to level 30. Once you get level 30, then you want to do level 5, 6, 8, or, or 12 to get to level 60. Once you do 60, then you can do the Leonard um, potion, I believe. You might not have to be 60, maybe less, but I know a lot of people on the forums say, I've tried to do this with Leonard, and he he doesn't summon. It's either because your altar power is too low or because your bottom skill is too low. Something to, to do with that. Also, level 1 potions brews do not level your bottling skill up that's what we had a problem with last episode so make sure you're doing level twos okay so if we want to do a level two to level up then we're going to go into our effects and pick a level two out something that we want something easy well you know regen would be pretty nice to have a bunch of regen potions but i can get them other ways and so i just picked went with cobble because it was super quick right just easy to pick cobble there so get a bunch of cobble now we're a level two spell so we need level two capacity so we're going to go over to capacity and see here's all the things we can do to increase capacity. I just picked nether wart. That's easy after these to give me two points, right? Um, if you want to do like a level four spell, you can either go with a, a nether star or you can go with a nether wart and like a diamond or something like that. Um, but to do Leonard, who is a level 12, we're going to need everything but a mandrake. The uh, HQM book says you need all of these to get Leonard. That's incorrect. You only need 12 capacity to get Leonard. So you can leave out the mandrake root. It's not going to hurt, but you don't need it. Okay, so that's how we get the right capacity. We're going to get you know a nether wart for level two, so we can use an, an effect of level two. Then we need to optionally add a uh, duration boost. Um, so if you want to do, if it's a potion that has some kind of duration, like uh, regeneration. Um, if you add redstone, then it will double the time. Add obsidian, it'll quadruple the time. And if you get these mind drake bulbs, it six sex doubles the time if you have all three of those so you kind of need to add them in order and each time you add them it increases by another uh, multiplier the mind drake bulbs are very difficult <laughs> you have to combine a creeper and a mandrake 
in one of those uh, rituals that have like the cobweb and the graspers and the creeper critter graspers, all that kind of stuff around it to get a mind drake. Then you can harvest him or you can plant him and harvest him just like you do mandrakes. That takes a long time and they're difficult to farm because you they don't really bone meal very well. So I'm not going to do them. I just went with the redstone and obsidian for my duration increases. There's also some modifiers for, oops, those modifiers don't matter, um, for power. So if you're doing a, like a damage spell or a regeneration and you want regen 4 or regen 2, um, if you do nothing, it'll be level 1. If you add a glowstone, level 2. If you add a glowstone and a blaze rod, it'll be level 3. Add all three of these, it'll be a level 4. So if you want, I don't think regen goes to 4, but some of the other spells um, that might have multiple levels, like damaging or something, harming, you could add all three to get to level four. And you can see every time I add something, it adds altar power cost. So a lot of these add a lot. <laughs> and we're looking at the left value. We're not doing a ritual right now, just so the altar cost is 150, 150. So um, 300 altar power just to get your power to level four. Then there's some other things like uh, modifiers, which really don't do a lot. Um, Dispersal, you're going to want the gunpowder if you want a splash potion. Uh, the gas and liquid don't really work for the potions that I've been doing. Um, you can also substitute an otter choke if you don't have gunpowder. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Um, duration, we showed that, and power, we showed that. Okay, so level up, up to 30 with just nether wart for capacity 2 and cobble. Just Nether wart cobble, nether wart cobble, nether wart cobble. Don't do anything else. <laughs> and you'll get up to level 30. And you'll have a ton of lava potions. <laughs> then once you get to level 30, then choose a level 4 spell. Um, something like... Uh, what's really easy? Um, maybe like bones. Or nether quartz or something. That's kind of cool. You can get werewolf potions and vampire potions. <laughs> There's really cool things in here, um, but yeah. So then you'll level up to 60, and then we'll work on on uh, the thing. So here's the potions I'm going to use for Leonard. I first tried to combine them, and that gives me... Well, let's talk about this thing. Leonard is going to uh, be undead, so he takes damage from Demon Bane. Or he's not undead, he's a demon. So Demon Bane does a lot of damage to him. It also can hit him when he's immune to damage melee damage so that's a really good potion to have he also grows really really big um and when he's big i don't think you can hit him and i think he hits harder and casts a lot of worse magic spells so as soon as he starts growing you want to shrink him so we need a combination it has to be a splash potion so we can throw it at him demon main four so we do a ton of damage and resizing um to shrink him so i tried to put all those together demon bane let me put notepad over here uh, Demon Bane, Demon's Bane is a level 5 spell requiring ice. Resizing a level 6 spell requiring emerald. If I want to put all those together, I need capacity 11, which means I need pretty much all of this stuff. I left out uh, Diamond Vapor, I think, because I only need 11, not 13. So that's a nether star for every potion. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. I have like 60 nether stars, but yeah, that's pretty bad. Then I want um, the Demon's Bane part to be power 4, so it does a ton of damage. So I need Glowstone, Blaze Rod, and a Toonstone, a Charge of Toonstone for every one of those. And then I want the um, Resizing to last a long time, so Duration, um, X4 if I do Redstone and Obsidian, and leave off the Mind Drake. And then add the Gunpowder for Splash. So if I wanted to make this potion right here, which I just showed you, it would take all of this stuff <laughs> which is a lot um, and you have to add them in the right order you want to put the demon's bane after let's see after the power and the emerald after the duration otherwise you get screwed up potion like I have where I added the duration things but the resizing of only 10 seconds because I put the duration in the wrong order anyway 
So I'm like, that's really nice to have those potions that are combined, but I don't want to do that. That just costs too much. So I'm going to simplify it. I'm just going to have potions of re of harm. Oh, that's harming. Hold on. <laughs> potions of demon bane four, uh, which are a little simpler. And you can see, even though these are pretty much the same, I crafted them with different uh, materials so they don't stack, and they only stack to eight anyway. So to get those, I just did capacity five. So I only needed a. Um, I left off Tear the Goddess, so I did um, Diamond, Nether Wart, and Mandrake Root to capacity 5. And then I did all these to get the power 4, a Gunpowder, and then Ice. So that was a lot easier. I could leave off the Nether Star for that. Um, and so that's how I get the Demon's Bane 4 uh, Splash Potion. That one is a mess up. I forgot to add the, uh, the modifier. And then the other ones, here's the brew, a Splash Brew of Resizing. You can see it's not x4 because it's times, um, it should have been times 4, but it was only times 3. So I think the default might be times 2, and then you add times 3 times 4. I don't really know. <laughs> but 30 seconds was what we got from um, these two duration modifiers. And to do that, uh, resizing is a level 6, so I just did these three to get level 6. And uh, those two to duration four and splash and an emerald. So I'm going to keep crafting more of these. That is in what we'll use to kill or to damage and, and harm Leonard. I've also got these potions of harming, harming four, which is a lot better than you get from vanilla potions. Um, I think harming is a level two effect. So it's pretty easy to make. You might want to even uh, level up on this if you're going to make them anyway. You might as well level up. But that is a fermented spider eye and a glistening melon for every potion. And it's only a, a, um, effect two, so you only need capacity two, so use another wart. And then use the uh, things to get you up to power four. Okay? So once you get to level 30 on your bottling skill, you're going to get extra potions. Normally you get one sometimes, well, very rarely. I don't think ever I got anything from the frog or the witch's armor. So you just get one. Once you get to level 30, you get three a lot of the times. So that's really helpful. Don't start doing these really expensive potions until you're a lot higher bodily skill. Because then you get a lot more out of it. Once you're level 60, I've been getting five, sometimes six potions every time I craft. I'm not sure what will happen when I get to level 90. But I don't, the only real spells that level me up anymore are the um, effect level, let's see, I think 8 and 12 are the only ones that level me up anymore. 12 is Leonard, so that's how I can do. And level 8, they're really, well, I guess I could do a bunch of creeper heads or something. I'm not going to do soup. I guess I could do biome pages because that's just a piece of paper. Anyway, so maybe I'll try and level up to 90. Um, but let's let's do Leonard here. So for Leonard, we need here's our thing. So we will have a Nether Wart to get. That's two points. Two points for Tear the Goddess. Two points for Diamond. Um, that's two, four, six, ten. What are we missing? Missing something on the duration or capacity here. Uh, diamond Vapor. Ah, okay got to grab those. I haven't been using diamond vapor because I haven't needed to get that high. Um, the book also says in order, you don't have to do them in order, really. I think you just have to put the twos together and the four at the end, one at the beginning. Because the H. Grum book says to do like the mandrake, then the diamond, diamond vapor, tear goddess. It's like all over the place, so I really don't think it matters on the order. So two, four, six, eight, and... 12 so we're high enough capacity and then we need the level 12 effect which is a witch's hat and you can see alter power costs 10,000 so that adds 10,000 uh, then our capacity we're at a uh, doesn't um, let's see another star doesn't add any 150 300 450 400 50 so we're, we're at about 10,450 maybe and I've got plenty I mean I've got 18,000 so yeah no no big deal so let's go ahead and do that let's summon Leonard where is my witch's hat did I put it in here oh, crap where did I put it oh it's in this chest isn't it there it is 
Um, I'll talk about the drop of luck as well. Okay, so water. I changed my little uh, holding pen so I can access the water a lot easier. So make sure you're completely full. This stupid outline makes it harder to see if this water's full. Or should we go away? Um, so let's add another wart tier. Diamond. Diamond vapor. Another star. Witch's hat. Here comes Leonard! Maybe? There he is! Hi, Leonard! Welcome to my base. Now let's see what our altar looks at. So, yeah, well, we used about 15,000. So, wow, that was a lot. Okay, so Leonard is friendly unless you attack him. And actually, while he's standing here, I believe he makes your um, potions really strong, so it's actually pretty cool. But he gives you slowness, so I don't want him around here. And he, he's loud. So, Leonard, you're coming with me, buddy. Ready? Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! He doesn't like that. You're stuck in a room now. He always hides in a corner. Anyway, so Leonard's here now. He's a boss, so he'll not despawn. He's just going to be here forever until we kill him. There's really no way to get rid of him <laughs> unless you kill him. So don't summon him unless you've got a way to, to move him around or put him somewhere. Otherwise, you're going to have slowness for a long time and have to listen to his, his demon sayings. So, if we attack Leonard, I'm wondering if I should do this. Yeah, let's go ahead. I don't think I will die. He's going to get mad, and he's going to start shooting these little orbs at us that will damage us. And you can see he has a ton of hit points, 600 hit points. He's going to have a slowness, but I can do quite a bit of damage. And I've got a pretty good hit points here in natural regen, so I'm pretty not going to take a lot of damage. Now, if he hits us with uh, Mortal Coil, we're screwed. <laughs> so, I need to go drink some milk, I believe. Let me get home. Once that Mortal co Coil runs out, we're dead. So, let's see if we can get back here. Uh, mortal Coil. Water, go away. Let's see if I can get some milk. What is, what is this explosions? Nope, Mortal Coil's still there. Uh, can we make a death protection pop it in time? I don't think so. I think we're about to die. That's pretty... Well, that's... What is... What is this loud ex... I don't know what that was. Anyway. And say goodbye. Death protection pop -its. Yeah, I don't think I get it in time. <laughs> Seven, six... Five. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> so there you go. That's what happens if... Where's my grave? Oh, it's right there. It's purple. Oh my gosh. I was getting really nervous there. Okay. So let me put all this stuff back on, and we'll continue here. Oh, I didn't even have my full set of armor on. <laughs> okay. Just clean up the inventory really quick. Okay, good enough. Can put some eggs and feathers away. So that's Leonard. Basically, um, you can see that he's going to put a debuff on us that we need to either remove or um, have some kind of death protection. So I could do poppets, and I'm probably going to fill up my poppet shelf with poppets just in case. Um, but there should be another brew to remove um, damaging effects. Let me check through this real quick and uh, see if I can find it. Okay, guys, I found it. This is the Remove Debuffs Level 2 Effect, so also a very good one to use while you're leveling your potion skill, although it does take this Purified Milk. Um, ooh, Endless Water. That's kind of cool. 
You can use it to fill a cauldron. Oh, that would be really cool. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, so this um, special milk is crafted with... Oh, this was the one where we could use either the cake and two odors or the jar and one, which was didn't make any sense, but you get three purified milk. So definitely we'll make a bunch of these potions, um, and hopefully that will remove the f um, that uh, mortal coil. And then I just have to know to check every minute to see if he's cast mortal coil on me. One thing nice is if he keeps casting it on you, it just resets the timer. So, and you don't die until it gets down to zero. So, kind of a good thing if he keeps casting it on you, but we'll want to remove it from ourselves. Okay, well, that's um, it for potions, um, as far as what we'll need to kill Leonard. Uh, also not, oh, I guess I'll spoil the fight. He's going to summon these little, um, three little orbs. The red ones are going to die to fire damage, and that's the whole purpose we have of getting the um, fire focus with a ton of damaging enchants on it. He does green ones, which die to melee. So I'm going to use either a combination of my Cutlass and the uh, Excalibur Sword, because the Excalibur Sword is melee damage, even though it's kind of does ranged attacks with its heat sink and thing. Oops, over here. So we'll have that um, that sword. I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere, somewhere in some chest. Um, and then he also does blue ones. The blue ones only take damage to harming, like undead type spells. Um, so we're going to get the, that's the whole push point of getting the splash po potion of harmings. Um, one thing about these, they only stack to eight, but there is a cool thing you can use called a brew bag, um, which is impregnated leather and golden thread. Let me see if I have enough impregnated leather or not. I might want to make one just to see it. I only have one impregnated leather. I have the thread, but not enough leather. Um, I might make that off camera. Basically, that allows you to put, I think, up to seven sacks. We can have 56 potions, maybe eight stacks, um, in one slot, and then we can put it on our hot bar, and, uh, and you can cast it that way. The cool thing though is since we have inventory tweaks technically we don't need that because as soon as we run out of a potion it should auto fill with the next you know whatever available um yeah that's that's about it um and that's pretty much the the last thing we need to do let's see if our thumbcraft no oops i need my other armor I will I will make a ton more potions. I will make um, a bunch of death protection poppets. Um, I will keep leveling up this node. And I think next time we will go ahead and start with um, enchanting our foci. And then go in and kill Leonard. And we'll be all done. So I think we'll just we'll stop at 25 here. Because I don't want to try for 36. It's taken too long. <laughs> this doesn't have anything left. I have to go get some more notes. Guys, a little bit shorter episode, um, I think. But... I've got everything covered, so come back next time to see the death of Leonard. It's only been done a few times on YouTube. Most people cheated, so <laughs> hopefully that um, you guys can get a nice, clean, legit kill of Leonard. Uh, if you like this episode, hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at FunshineX. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.